Okay, so I'm assuming by now you've successfully created a domain name by buying one at GoDaddy, and you've successfully set up a hosting account by purchasing an account with HostGator and logging into the control panel and adding your domain name to the hosting account. Then I'm assuming that you've successfully connected your hosting account with your domain name by taking the name servers that your hosting a company provides and attaching it to your domain name by logging into GoDaddy. If you've done those steps correctly, you should see a screen like this when you log when you type in your URL into your browser window. So anyone in the world that types this in is going to see a screen like this that basically says this is what is contained in your website. So right now we're at a stage where we want to replace this screen with a new website, a website of our own creation. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the idea is you want to create a website on your local machine, and then you want to transfer that website from your local machine over to your website. So to perform that transfer, we're going to employ a technology called FTP, which basically stands for File Transfer Protocol. So basically there's softwares called FTP clients that allow you to do this. So you can download a software called FileZilla, which is a free software that works on a Mac or a PC that allows you to take files from your PC and move them over to websites of your choice. So once you search in Google and download it and install it, you basically open it up and we can do everything that I just said. <clears throat> So once you've loaded FileZilla, the bit, it's a very simple to use system. On the left side represents all of your file, all of the files on your local machine, and on the right side represents all of the files that make up your website on your on the remote machine, your hosting account. So this will represent your server. But in order to do that, we first have to connect to your server using FTP. So the way we do that is up here we basically enter the address of the server so in your case it's gonna be the name of your website so for here for me it's three days to cash system.com the username and password is the same that we set up when we created our hosting account so your username is going to, so in my case the username is gonna be three three day and the password is gonna be the password that we generated Okay, once you've entered those three information, you can skip the port for now and um, click Quick Connect. I must have typed in the password wrong. Okay, so now that we're in, our job is to create a website on our local machine and transfer it over to our server. Now, once you create an account, it automatically creates all of the files that are necessary to have a website online. You can basically ignore all of these files because you are going to create files and put, put them inside of the public HTML folder. The only folder you need to worry about is this public HTML folder because basically that folder says whatever files are inside of this folder is viewable by the outside world. So for creating a website that the outside world can see, we need to put the files inside of this folder. So think of this folder as your actual website. When people type in your domain name, and in my case, 3 days to cash system com forward slash, anything that comes after that represents files that are inside of this folder. So what we're going to do now is create a website and move it over inside of this folder and I'll show you that the entire world can see what we've done. So the simplest website I know how to create is this. We open up Notepad or text edit. So in the PC just open up Notepad and we're gonna type in hello world. Then we're gonna save it and we're gonna save it as an actual HTML file because those are the files that our browsers can read. So we're going to change the file format to HTML, and for PC users, it doesn't matter if you do that. All you got to do is just save your name as um, hello.html. So we're going to save that, 
and we're conveniently storing it on our desktop for easy access. So I did this before, so we'll just save that on our desktop. Okay, so now we basically need to locate the file in our local machine and drag it over to the public HTML folder. Now, instead of dragging, I'm going to basically directly access my desktop by moving this away and dragging it directly from my desktop. So you can see the hello HTML file is here. I'm just going to drag it to the public HTML folder, and that's it. The file just moved from my PC to my website. So what I'm going to do now, remember, anything that appears in the public HTML folder can be accessible by the outside world if they type in your domain name.com slash the file name. So what we're going to do is do three days to cache system.com slash hello dot html. And as you can see, the entire world can see what we put, what we FTP to our site. Okay, now the final thing I'll show you is a way for the a way for your website to automatically display a certain file when no file is explicitly stated. So when someone types in three days to cache system, there's currently no file to show up. Now, by default, all websites will first look in your folder to see if a file called index.html exists. So if we were to rename this file to index.html, when someone types in 3 days to cache system.com and does not add any file name to the to the name to the URL it will automatically say ask itself is there an index.html file i can serve up and because it is it will automatically serve it up so basically i'm not going to add any file name to this i'm just going to press enter and you'll see that it automatically routes to the index.html file and shows the file that we want so that, in a nutshell, is FTP. Once you've bought a domain name and a hosting account and you've hooked them up with the name servers, you basically now have FTP access to your domain name, which you type the host name, the username, and password to access, and then you can transfer files from your local machine to your website. And as long as you put it in the public HTML folder, the entire world can access it by typing in your URL slash your file name. If you create a file name that's called index.html, it can be accessible without typing in any specific file name at the end of the URL. So that, in a nutshell, is FTP and the very basics of getting a website online.